The Ceramonic Blink 500B4 is a dual channel microphone system that is great for journalists, YouTubers, and vloggers. This system is super easy to use. It works with iPhone and Android, just gotta buy the right one. You just plug the uh, receiver in there, you have your transmitter, and you're good to go. It's really simple. And honestly, it's gonna get you some great broadcast quality sound. If you're filming on the go, you need to check out this mic. Let's dive into more. So before we dive into the Ceremonic product, be sure to subscribe below if you are interested in topics like this and you wanna see more about behind the scenes content. This setup allows you to wirelessly record sound straight into your iPhone or Android. And even better, you can record two people at once. So if you're doing an interview or if you're doing a um, man on the street type setup, or if you're just talking to some friends or family and you wanna record you know, groups of people across the room, you can hand back the transmitter around and it all records into one audio source. So it's gonna be really easy for you to edit in the long run. Uh, so here's the box right here and uh, let's check out the components. From the bottom to the top, we got the Blink 500 DI receiver. That's gonna plug into your iPhone. Then you got two lav mics that you could put on you know, two separate people. Two transmitters where you could use the transmitters on their own or you could plug the lav mics into the transmitter. And then you got the two charging cables which uh, charge the transmitters, which usually last about five to six hours the charge on the transmitter. Uh, so it should get you through a whole shoot. And then you got the Ceramonic bag on the right on the screen. And that's a great little bag that you're gonna be able to carry all these components in and just throw them in there. It's lightweight and compact. It can fit in your camera bag nicely. So it's honestly gonna come out of the box like this. You'll have your receiver, you'll have your transmitter, you'll have your lav mics if you wanna use your lav mics. Uh, the batteries will come partially charged on this. I usually like to just run the battery all the way down to the end and then charge it all the way back to the top because then that's the way I find that you get your full use out of your battery. Um, so for at least an iPhone, this is my old iPhone 6. I kind of use it now for as a dedicated audio recorder for this. Uh, you just plug the receiver in. So it's not blue yet, but it's already plugged in. So once that's plugged in, I turn on the transmitter. So you want to hold that for an extra second to turn it on. So you have your gains right here. If you have someone that speaks you know, extra loud, you can turn it down a little bit. Or if you have uh, someone who speaks low, turn it all the way up. I generally like to keep it all the way up just you know, to be safe because these do record kind of low, which is actually nice in post-production. Um, that just you know says the Bluetooth connection. This is the charging port. This is where you plug the lav mic into. You got your clip right here, and this is what you talk into. Uh, so you have the receiver plugged in. You have the transmitter plugged in. Then, honestly, you just press play. The receiver is blue now. This is blue. I'm talking, I'm tapping this. As you can see, as I tap it, the wavelengths are jumping up. That means it's recording and that's it. You're good to go. I personally have been using this microphone system for most of my personal YouTube videos when I can uh, just use the mics openly and I don't need to hide them, you know, for a sketch or a short or anything like that. And they've been great for me. I, I record them with two people when I do my behind the sketch series. I have two people wearing two lav mics with the transmitters and it's all fun, uh, funneling into one receiver until my iPhone 6. And that room is crazy echoey. I don't know if I can actually probably show you a disparity when I use my boom mic versus uh, using the uh, lav system. And uh, you can kind of see how different it is. So let's check out that uh, comparison right now. Oh, damn. And that's the most, that was the most views I'd ever gotten on anything yeah. ever. Yeah. Besides this one YouTube video I did like three years ago that had poop in the title and it like. Yeah, I think off. I saw that. It was like, girls don't poop or do poop. Or oh, damn. And that's the most, that was the most views I'd ever gotten on anything yeah. ever. Yeah. Besides this one YouTube video I did like three years ago that had poop in the title and it like yeah i think off. i saw that it was like girls don't poop or do poop or something yeah. yeah so as you can tell like these were able to really pick up the sound much better let's see how it sounds on the go so without further ado here's some examples of how the different components sound when you're outside and you're walking around and maybe you're doing a little interview maybe you're doing two person hey guys so this is the transmitter uh on the picture of the box you can see that really professional looking guy he has a you know attached to his shirt and he's walking around like this uh, this is how it would sound if you're doing that. So if I'm walking away and I'm, you know, walking at a distance, obviously the iPhone would never be able to pick up a, a sound like this. I'm kind of talking low, but it should still be able to kind of pick me up right here. Um, and as I'm walking, you know, say I'm doing a walk and talk and I'm cruising down the street and I'm dancing, you know, this is so picking it up. Or you can kind of take it on the go and, you know, talk like this and let people know, hey, you know, you're hot, you're a hot shot. You're doing what you're doing. Um, 
I guess if I were to wear it on my chest like this, I would maybe wear it like this. It's a hit, little more hidden. Um, but uh, it does look a little goofy and kind of big and bulky on your shirt to wear it like this. But you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? This is how it sounds. So now this is with the lav mic. The transmitter is still on, but it's in my pocket. And I actually like using the lav mic a little more because it's a little more, you know, professional looking, looks low key, kind of, you know, rocket, you know, kind of hidden. Uh, it doesn't look as bulky as a transmitter. And I think it does pick up a little better audio. So I'll walk away from the camera. I'll say, hey, what's up guys? We're taking over here. Let's check out this gate. This is a beautiful apartment complex, but what you don't know is that this apartment complex is haunted. And it's been haunted for about 30 years. Can you imagine that? Can you believe that? That's how the lav mic would sound if you were doing like a haunted TV show about this apartment complex from a distance. Can you believe that? So now this is just the iPhone audio straight from the iPhone. This is the quality you're getting. If you do hear a buzzsaw in the background, that is because there is a buzzsaw in the background and there's nothing I can do about that. But this is how it would sound if I'm walking away. I'd almost have to be yelling in order for you to hear my audio from this. Obviously, if I had a lot of mic on or if I had a transmitter, it would sound a lot better. But I don't, so that's what you can do. And you really can't even hear me at this point, so I'm just talking like this crazy. But now you could probably hear me a little closer. But still, I'm pretty sure you would compare the natural iPhone audio to be a little less quality than you would get with the transmitter or the lav mic in this setup. Now this would be if two people were talking with two transmitters. I got one transmitter and the lovely lady behind the camera, Rachel, speak up. Hello, how's it going? Hi, hi. There's two people talking over, uh, you know, the two transmitters and it's all recording into this iPhone 10 right here on the uh, voice memo app uh, with the receiver. So she's talking, I'm talking, and it's recording at the same time. So Rachel, what should we get for dinner tonight? Mm, you know what? I'm thinking sushi. Sushi? Really? What's your favorite kind of sushi? Mm, I love, uh, what's it called? The little fish on the rice? Oh, fish on the rice. You're talking <laughs> um, Nigi uh, like sashimi. 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 I sometimes, I only like, uh, I only like the Nigiri? rice. I don't even touch the fish. What? I don't even touch the fish sometimes. I just eat the rice. That's crazy. I like to eat the fish. I like slurp it up like it's a noodle. And see, that's why we're a good couple. She eats the fish, I eat the rice. And we're golden, baby. Now, this is all recording into one iPhone 10, two different mics. And uh, you've been hearing me talking the lav mic this whole video, so I don't think I need to do a demonstration of the lav mic. But if you had two lav mics, it would be the same way. She'd be wearing a lav mic, I would be wearing a lav mic. And we'll record like that and save the audio like that. That's it, guys. This has been a little demo. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. So, here's a couple of cons on this product. Um, you can't use this receiver really if you have a case on your iPhone or Android, so you've got to take that off. The way I learned was because I used it once on a friend shoot and I plugged it into their phone and uh, they had the case on and it wasn't fully like, you know, plugged in. So even though it was showing blue, you know, the, the port wasn't fully in and unfortunately the, some of the sound was glitchy, didn't sound correct. So I learned after that, you gotta take off your case if you really wanna make sure you get good quality sound. So there was two times where I used both transmitters with two different people filming that the second transmitter stopped recording. Uh, I've never had an issue with this setup recording with one person and only two times with two people. I don't know if it was a connection issue, a wireless issue, a Bluetooth issue. I haven't really been able to figure it out, but that did happen. So I look back on that with all the good things I've gotten with this product. I just chalked that up to you know a couple losses, but um, that's just something to note. I haven't really seen a lot of that issue on the other reviews that I've read on Amazon, so maybe it was just you know a bad connection those couple days. So um, I wouldn't really worry about it too much, but just something to note when you are shooting. Just make sure you really test it and listen to it like you know if you can periodically through the shoot. So I'd recommend this system to YouTubers, people that film on the go, journalists, vloggers. Honestly, even if you're just on a family trip and you want to get some good audio with your iPhone recordings, definitely check out this product if you're looking for a good wireless microphone system that's going to allow you to record multiple people and it's going to be incredibly easy to use. This is a setup for you and at the price of $219, you're not going to get anything as good as this system for that price um, for the ability to record two different people all into one receiver. So I would uh, highly, highly check this out if you're looking for something like this right now getting good quality audio thanks so much for watching be sure to check out the link below if you're interested in this product that link is going to take you to an amazon affiliate page so if you enjoyed this video and this video helped you want to get this product buy it from that link and it'll help me out thanks so much for watching be sure to stay tuned for the next one